welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another new video and in this video we actually got a new build and it's an SUV that's uh, actually the first one the we're gonna be filming and posting we did few of them couple SUVs but that was behind the camera and this one is actually a pretty nice one and we decided to film everything and show you guys the car from the beginning till it's done we got it from a Copart auction and I'll show you guys when I get to the shop the car is there came from uh, Texas so the minute I get there I'll show you guys the car right guys so the car is in this garage I will open after I'll show you around a little bit this is not what we do this is like a hobby between me and two of my little brothers and because we all have full-time jobs and stuff family wife kids but this is what we do in the free time basically you guys saw the Jeep that I finished now we got Comanche another Jeep Comanche Cherokee Cherokee another one so basically we get them for like super cheap build them play a little bit have fun and then sell them and then the McLaren still waiting for, for some parts pretty soon another video is coming and I said that like a week ago um, for the Ferrari interior is done waiting on the airbags and some other little things and we do have a bunch of quads too that we fix and play with that all right so we're gonna go walk around and show you guys a little bit about all these jeeps and i'll film he's gonna do the talking his english is better mm. yeah so i picked this up it's a 1989 jeep comanche it's a four by four five speed manual and it's short bed which is really rare so i done a lot of work to it i upgraded or updated the front end to chrome because everything was faded and black and kind of nasty so i made that look nice uh, my plan is to restore these stripes right here they go across the side and then uh, level the front because it does sag about two inches down so to make it look nicer and also come check out the interior man this thing looks clean inside i can't believe from what year is that 19 1989 89 it's really hard to find them in good condition. Uh, to start off, they are pretty rare to begin with, but to have them in this condition is uh, just putting on top. But I did do some work on the interior. I redid the headliner with suede. I uh, changed uh, the shifter boot, the steering wheel. This is original from the Comanche. They had two styles. There's one that's pretty bulky, but this one looks a lot more classic. So I changed that. And then I got the carpets uh, pretty much and that's it, but this is 100% stock, that's how it came up from the factory. Does it have any cracks on the plastic or? No, there's no cracks. That's no why I got this to protect it. Very clean, nice. Yeah. All right, what's the story on this one? So this one is similar to the other Comanche, but this one we picked up for only $700. It is complete, I took up the headlight bezel so that we could complete the other Comanche because they're in better condition. <clears throat> this is also a long bit and automatic, but the plan is to make it manual and also do a diesel swap. Uh, the 1.9 Jetta. Yeah, they get it from the Jettas and they sell the connections and the, uh, the whole kit for it. Yeah, those, those engines are really good. I went through a few Jettas, <laughs> man. They're my favorite when it comes to diesel. Yeah, but this one is 100% complete as well, but we do want to do a facelift on it so that they look something like that right there, the white one. Yeah, so basically is, that's uh, going to be an off-road. It's going to be a crazy build. Lift and big wheels, like what, 37s, 35s? Yeah, either 37s or 35s with the long arms. Yeah. And uh, maybe six and a half inch. But we'll, uh, we'll decide that when we get to it. And that's the two twins <laughs> over here. Again, this one is the one we're planning to use for the parts for the front end, for the interior, and the wire harnesses and all that to swap onto that one over there. But this one we picked up from the auction to use it as a donut car. So it runs and drives. Yeah. And this one is probably the best one. It is the cleanest one. This one is really clean inside, outside. It's super clean. It has no rust anywhere. Headliner is not sagging. Uh, it has some upgrades, the bumper, it has the good axles, 
Yeah. We got it for a little in. over a thousand. Yeah. It came with a bumper like that. We just got it, didn't do nothing yet. Mm -hmm. uh, we gotta fix the engine. I got the keys with me. But it has pretty nice stuff on it when it comes to axles and stuff. The headline. Yeah, usually a lot of them, the headliners are sagging. This one, it looks brand new. It's clean. And uh, it has the speakers on top and all this stuff. It looks pretty good. That's the first Jeep, I think, we uh, that came with that. So this one has a bad compression and cylinder five. Uh, we're thinking it's a bad piston because the owner took it to the shop. They opened the oil pan and kind of saw piece, uh, pieces inside. But that's okay because that one over there, the engine runs and it only has 130,000 130,000, yeah, low miles in that one. Yeah, it's pretty low. So, and plus we're using that for the Comanche, all the parts from the outside. So it makes sense to use the engine for this. So it's going to be a pretty easy fix. Yeah. And then maybe later down the road, rebuild this engine. But there's just ideas. The boat is still waiting. Basically, um, it's a big line for, uh, we don't have too many people that work on the boats with the gel coat and everything. We do have the engines in the shop. We have a lot of parts that we need, but we're still waiting in line to start working on the paint job. So this is our 1998 Jeep XJ we got from Copart. When we got it, it had basically everything was stock. No fender. Uh, no bumper. We drove it all the way from San Mateo and we got a uh, Stinger, a uh, Smitty built bumper, a wench, a new grill, a 4.5 inch lift kit with alarm. New headlights. Bumper, new rims and tires. We cut the fenders. What is that? For, um, what's the lift 4 kit? 4.5 inch. 4.5, yeah. And then we seen that in the interior was really nice and we were planning on wrapping it basically we're planning to keep this uh nice clean jeep and uh we got a uh, vinyl wrap for this thing but then you can't really have a nice clean jeep because you're not gonna want to go crazy into you know the woods so we're not gonna vinyl wrap anymore it's just gonna be the way it is that way you don't have to worry about scratching and getting dirty the we're bumper is, you're working on a bumper right now, right? Yeah, it's really heavy. We're going to use it as a crazy off-roading vehicle. Yeah. So we got a SYE kit or slip yoke eliminator for the Jeep. Since we lifted it, case. we wanted it to be more extended. And then for more torque, we got a, a throttle body spacer. This basically adds more torque and better fuel economy. And there is the Mustang. I get a lot of comments to vinyl wrap this thing already. Well, it's coming and it's coming soon, but thanks for your patience, guys. You gotta understand, this is not full-time type of thing where we do, we just do when we have time. Especially if I'm driving this as a daily, so it's gonna take like a week to finish the whole car because you gotta take everything apart. And I don't really feel like I wanna start working on this because I still need this thing to drive around but yeah i'm gonna do it pretty soon i already have the vinyl over here it's in the box somewhere right there the vinyl is there so i'm gonna be starting this pretty soon right guys so it's time to show you what we got all right guys so this is the new build we're gonna be working on it's a 2019 range rover full body uh, it's the plug-in version, which is pricier than the regular ones. And uh, I kind of want to go over it, show you guys all the package, uh, what the package includes and what the damage actually is on it. It is sitting a little sideways and that's because the front wheel is flat. But you'll see more when we back it up. Right now we're charging the battery to back it out and see everything in detail. But it does have the tow package. And there is dents in the back. Since we're here, we're gonna start right here. Uh, this is probably from the auction. They usually fork the cars from under and they don't really care if they damage it. But this is fixable. It's uh, 
we just have to remove the dents and uh, repaint it pretty much. But yeah, let's take the car out and go into detail. Well, I'll go inside, show you guys the interior of it and then outside as well. Make sure you put uh, black to red <laughs> and red to minus. By the way, that's minus. This one? Okay. I thought it was because it's black. Usually they're red, the covers. Da, it's a red plus. Japanese? Mm -hmm. Very nice, that's the charger. Charger. Alright, start. How do you start? Uh, you go inside. I don't think it's gonna work yet. We need another charger. Yeah, let's let's hook another one. Oh, Alright, I'll try a different one. That one is weak. Weak sauce. Alright, go for Yeah. It's alive! Alright guys, I don't even know where to start. This thing has so much options, it's crazy. So I didn't really look up anything online. This is just what I found. Like, it has so much stuff like this. Like, I mean, power, hatch, and then you can open the bottom piece as well. That's pretty cool. And to close the same thing, and you could close both of them at the same time with this button right here. Look at that. I think that's actually pretty awesome. And then it has buttons right here. I guess you could uh, lay down the rear seats if you need some extra storage, but this is pretty big, honestly. You could fit a lot of things and you could use this as a bench if you go at like a tailgate party or something. But that's pretty awesome so far. Check that out. So I'm controlling that seat with this right here. Yeah, I'm not sure how it works, but that's cool. And it has a little plug right here. That could come pretty useful. Now let's look what's under here. I guess he has a flat tire kit or a pump compressor. And then this is the liquid for the run flat. And then there's the battery and then the hybrid battery, I believe is right there. Yeah, so this is actually really roomy in my opinion. Out of uh, most SUVs I've seen, uh, this is maybe like four by four by four foot i believe all right so just to start from the rear this has a lot of options already uh as you can see it has the wooden trim it has these panels right here which are touch button so these work you turn on the car and there's options to scoot the seat forward back with the touch of your finger and then this as well reclines the seats back and forth. And right here as well as a panel. So when this turns off, it's all black. And when you turn it on, it gives you the options. I don't know what they mean, but that's actually pretty cool. And you also have the TVs to watch movies on long road trips. And then climate control to heat up your seats or cool them down if you get too hot. And then also a bunch of outlets in the back bottom. You have HDMI, you have USB connections. So this thing is fully loaded. Let's see what this does. Oh, look at that. It's kind of cool. All right, so there's the TV on. So this TV only senses 
uh, the weight, I guess, on the seat, and that's how it turns around because that one's off and nobody's here. So you have to actually be sitting here to have this on. And then there's a bunch of options, but I'm not gonna go through it. Uh, this roof is actually pretty cool. It's really big. And when you sit inside, it's all open, which makes everything look like it's so much more spacious. So yeah, this is pretty much the rear. It's awesome. I'd rather be in the rear, have somebody else drive. But yeah, let's go check out the front as well. All right, so same deal for the steering wheel. This is all touchscreens. So you see all these little buttons, whatever. They're not actually buttons, but these light up. So when you have the car off, this whole piece right here just goes dark. Same thing with the screen, dark, this goes dark. Everything goes dark and everything's adjustable. You could angle the screen however you want it. It's a nice little clock. And everything is on pretty much touchscreen. Same with these. Uh, as you see, it only has 4,000 miles on the dash and we do have the door open and the hood but yeah this is pretty nice center console you got the water cup holders this is the shifter the gear select i guess which you just turn and then you have a small little fridge in here throw some drinks in there and it keeps them cool and then you have a sd card sim card all this little cool stuff and then you choose the level of how, how cold you want to keep your drinks i guess which this is pretty sweet i would definitely use this but i love the screen right here it's just so giant and it's so it stands out so nice everything is so uh, high quality even the buttons like how it has uh little dips in them so we're back on the exterior first thing we're gonna need is this trim right here i uh, just pop it in everything's good on the door we're gonna need this fender because it's aluminum maybe it's fixable but uh we just want to play safe most likely we're gonna order a new one and then this wheel was hit which ripped off this control arm so we need to order a control arm that connects here we need to order this inner tie rod uh which we'll get the outer as well just to have everything straight well, I'm not really sure about the knuckle or anything else until we take off this wheel, but this is just uh, the first glance of the car. So kind of pretty much what we see. We uh, watered the headlight already. The hood is a little bit bent right here, which is no big deal. It is fixable. And then around the headlight, there's a little bracket that connects to here. This might even be the headlight, but the centerpiece is good this has a little dent uh we'll see if our frame guy can fix it hopefully he can if not it's not a problem to change the radiator support but we'll try to go with the the easier option which we'll talk to the guy see if he can if not it, again it's not a problem uh we will get a new one change it in because this is not a cheap car it's not something that you want to just cheap out on <laughs> So this side, everything is good. Just the bumper is off. So yeah, we do need a bumper. I'm not sure if it comes with fog lights or not, but we'll have to see if there's any connections for it. And then uh, also there is a little radiator on the side, which you can see right here, which it got damaged. So we watered this and then also this hose because this was ripped. So those two should be coming in soon. And it's gonna go on this side and the little bracket that holds it in place. We also are gonna have to water that. But this got saved. I don't know, this is some kind of like pump or something. So that's good. And again, you can see the damage is not big, it's something minor. Uh, we had a worse damage on our Audi, which we fixed it, and probably even that Jeep but this is nothing. So our plan is to go with the original parts and to change every little thing that's uh, not perfect on it. So if there's a little bracket that's bent, uh, we're gonna lean more towards changing it than fixing it because we want all the gaps to line up good. We want uh, the headlights to be perfect, the fender to be perfect, so that this car looks uh, just as it would look uh, from the lot and maybe even better. So that's the goal. 
and we do have some more plans for it but i don't want to say too much and make any promises but you guys will have to just follow us and uh, stay with us to kind of see the end result i think it's gonna be pretty cool so there you have it guys right guys this is a wrap for today's video if you're new to the channel smash the subscribe button because this build is not gonna be just fix the car we will throw some nice wheels nice vinyl wrap we're gonna change the whole color on this car so stay tuned other than that thanks for watching our videos please like share subscribe to our channel find us on instagram it's a custom auto builds and i'll catch you guys later